spontaneity, I feel like, oftentimes creates kind of the most interesting results. Sometimes it's just a lot of experimentation, and I like to try and keep things spontaneous in a controlled way, and then when I see bits that are working, kind of harness those elements and continue to work through other parts um, until I'm satisfied with the piece. I think with my work, there's kind of just an overall theme of kind of taking all these elements from popular culture and bringing them together in unexpected ways and then giving the viewer an opportunity to kind of build a story out of what's there. I'm not necessarily trying to dictate a specific idea with, with most of what I do. It's just kind of continuing through a, this general theme of constant bombardment of advertising, things we're all subject to on a daily basis, and kind of mixing that all up, presenting it in a new way, and then kind of letting the viewer interpret. I'd like to show kind of that history throughout a piece. Oftentimes, the first marks I, I put down, you never exactly see it at the end, but it's still there um, because those, those first elements are what are informing the next thing. Just kind of a mix of a variety of, of stuff. Spray paint in different ways, uh, whether it's spraying directly out of the nozzle or pressing down the plunger to get a more erratic spray, to house paint, acrylic paint, some light washes with water just to kind of create some depth throughout the process and weather certain areas, paint markers. I, I just like mixing all these mediums and then actually trying to kind of go as fast as I can and, and layer them while they're wet and you start to get some interesting textures. When a piece is finished, you get that depth that you see on, a, on an old advertisement. 15 advertisements have been layered on and bits and pieces have come away over time. It's kind of another variation of that sort of natural process. This is an outdoor installation mural that we'll be installing in, on a wall in Northeast Minneapolis. It's gonna be a little heavier than I thought. My brother Jake is my assistant for the day and we're just going to uh, stack up these wood panels and bring them over to the location and then uh, install the piece one panel at a time, screwing it to the existing wall. The process was created in the studio, um, hand-painted layers kind of, kind of mimicking the screen print process. It was just a, just a wall that I've had my eye on for a while that seemed like it uh, could use a little, little color down there. So I just mocked up the idea and then brought the idea to the owner of the building and, and asked if it would be all right to install. And you know, lucky enough, he, he was cool with it. Mural work was a natural progression with, with what I was doing in my studio or in gallery settings. I like to work on a large scale, so over the years I've had some opportunities to be able to work on even a larger scale and install my work outdoors. I had the opportunity to do a mural at Art Basel. It's a unique event that happens every year in Miami. Galleries from all over the world come there to show their work. So after that initial mural, they invited me back a few years later to install a new piece. So this past year, I had the opportunity to, 
to go and add another large scale piece to the buildings. It's one of the most rewarding things to be able to, to put in the prep work and install it and make it happen and then see the final piece. I mean, it was, it was great. I like how it's kind of looking at the boarded up bacon thing. Yeah. She is. Yeah, it's perfect in that spot, and it's so bright. Dude, that's pretty sweet that we can just cruise by now and just see that thing all the time. <laughs> The images in my work, I try not to overthink. I collect a lot of materials and old comic books and magazines and tabloids. I just try to kind of spontaneously pull bits, whether it's bits of romance comics or celebrity tabloids or old advertising. I kind of try to bring them together as something new. I've always been interested in urban decaying signs and advertisements. Whether it's actually using those elements or photographing them and literally uh, pulling textures from those photographs or just simply using them um, color palette ideas um, and in a more abstract sense. I'm creating my film to burn my silk screens, giving a little more texture, and um, I can kind of pick and choose certain elements to make pop more. One thing I've been experimenting more with is trying to spend more time hand drawing my film and separations for all my screen printing. I guess it feels like there's more of me in the piece. With my background in design, I was always interested in that typography and simple images. And screen printing was kind of a vehicle to be able to take that and push it on a larger scale. So I like to work fast and, and make those quick, spontaneous decisions. And screen printing is a great vehicle for that, to be able to quickly reproduce things, take away elements. I don't know, there's just something about that process. For the most part, I've always been a staple in my work. It's something that's just been a, a good way to, to layer and build up each piece. I like my aesthetic to be raw but controlled. At times, I, I, I like parts to be chaotic, but there's always like a structure. The main goal is to be able to come to my studio each day and get my work out there and galleries and the fine artwork is, you know, being able to show in that setting is what interests me most. And, yeah, I've been lucky enough to be able to do that and it's just, you know, that's, that's what constantly drives me to, to continue and keep pushing forward. Mm -hmm.